I'm going through TSA. Hey, how are you doing? Heading to Atlanta? Check out the Coca-Cola factory. Hey, Vegas, always double down on 11. Hello, I'm Shane Moss with the Here We Are podcast and the Mind Under Matter podcast. And this is the time I took mystery drugs before getting on an airplane. I had finished this psychedelic comedy tour. It was 111 cities. After this tour, I'm getting ready for a flight to a comedy club and I pull something out of a drawer and something falls out and it's this little medicine bottle with two mystery capsules in it. And so I was like, well, only one way to find out. And I popped one of those capsules in my mouth and then started driving to the airport. This is the point already you should be probably gasping at home. You did what? You just took a mystery capsule? Do I need to give a disclaimer for this story? Is anyone watching this? Like maybe I'll pop mystery capsules and drive to an airport. Why would you do that? Why did I do this? I have no idea. I was just in a mood and I pull in and I start feeling a little something. I haven't felt this feeling before. It's quite nice. Is this 2CB? Oh my gosh, that's what it is. In, in the psychedelic culture, kind of a mythical psychedelic. Here's why. There's this chemist, Alex Shulgin. Alex Shulgin starts making novel psychedelics that no one had ever tried before. He had about 10,000 trips. He invented about 180 new good psychedelics. Those were just the ones that he liked. And 2CB was his favorite. I'm on 2CB for the first time and now I'm going to go into the airport and that's when it hits me. The other description that 2CB has is that it is quite manageable for a psychedelic. So of course I pop that other capsule and then I'm off and I go and I'm just in such a delightful mood. By the way, this is how either the best or the worst drug story starts or ends. Do I need to tell you again not to do this? When I'm not on stage, when I'm not on camera, when I'm not podcasting, or I don't talk to anyone. I was the shyest kid you'd ever meet. I'm going through TSA. Hey, how are you doing? Heading to Atlanta? Check out the Coca-Cola factory. Hey, Vegas, always double down on 11. Somehow I'm, I've turned into Vince Vaughn on the movie Swingers. The plants in the airport have never looked so almost real. Not to mention, this is an aphrodisiac. I'm half aroused and just throwing myself a parade. I rode on an escalator. I realized I hadn't rode on an escalator in my adult life. I've been on thousands of escalators probably, but I haven't ridden an escalator since I was three years old, where it's an amusement park. You're on 2CB for the first time where you probably had twice what you're supposed to take and you're on an escalator, you don't know what's gonna happen. I take the long step over the part where it tries to eat you. Not today, scary robot steps. I get on the plane. Now it's keeping it cool time because you're on a plane. Planes can make emergency landings just because they get a whiff of like someone did a vape pen or something. I'm one of the happiest people on earth in one of the most miserable places on earth. How does that not alert anybody? And I get in there and there's a guy already in the aisle seat. And I'm like, hey, I'm in the window seat. And he just, he just does a little scooch, just a little, a little scooch back. Under any other circumstance, I would have been like, First time flying, you know, like you need to, you actually like get up and then I get in there and then you get back down. But because I was on 2CB, I'm like, oh, I get to crawl a person? This is amazing. He didn't know what he was gonna get crawling over his lap. But he was just like, I'm committed to this. I'm like, who is, th that's a power move. So I just closed my eyes and watched the best plane movie that's ever been shown on any plane was right behind my eyelids. It was a fantastic flight. I'm re-remembering uh, how magical and amazing flying is. Plane comes down, 
couple hours later, I'm starting to come down too. Immediately, I saw like, okay, I'll just wait for, now he's gotta, he's gotta get up now, we're deboarding. And uh, guess what happens? Is they bring his wheelchair out. The man was in a wheelchair, he couldn't walk, he couldn't get up. I was almost the biggest asshole that there's ever been demanding that a handicapped man stand. <laughs> Instead, I just got a good climb going and we high-fived. It taught me uh, to just have more patience and sometimes in situations you don't know the full context and maybe you should give it, uh, give people more credit because there might be information that you don't have. And that's when I realized that because of 2CB, finally, at 37 years old, I was all grown up and all grown up and all grown up. Tales from the Tr <laughs>